Lehigh Valley International Airport IATA, ABE, ICAO, CABE, FAA LID, ABE formerly Allentown Bethlehem Easton International Airport is a public airport in Hanover Township, Lehigh County, Pennsylvania. Parts of it are in Catasauqua and Allen Township, Northampton County, Pennsylvania. It is 3 miles 5 kilometers northeast of Allentown, in the Lehigh Valley region of Pennsylvania, the third most populous metropolitan region in the state after Philadelphia and Pittsburgh. It is owned and operated by the Lehigh Northampton Airport Authority and is included in the Federal Aviation Administration (FAA) National Plan of Integrated Airport Systems for 2017 to 2021, in which it is categorized as a non-hub primary commercial service facility. In previous years, the FAA categorized the airport as a small hub. The number of people using the airport fell by 24.3% from 723,556 in 2012 to 582,000 in 2014 and the airport had seen declines in passenger usage from the early 2000s when annual traffic twice hit levels above 1 million passengers. It has, however, lately experienced a steady rebound in passenger traffic due to being a preferable alternative to the highly congested airports in Philadelphia and Newark, new improvements to its facilities and amenities, a fast-growing regional population, and the addition of new routes. In 2016 it serviced 688,505 passengers, an increase of 2.2% from 2015. In October 2017 it serviced a total of 67,261 passengers for the month, an increase of 19.6% from the same period in 2016. It is also becoming very popular for the transportation of air cargo due in large part to the rapid growth of e-commerce and close proximity to major population centers on the East Coast as well as increased demand for faster, more efficient shipping of merchandise around the country. As of 2016, it ships more than 126 million pounds of cargo annually with growth of nearly 166% in cargo tonnage shipped between 2015 and 2016 alone. Companies such as Amazon.com and FedEx Ground are increasingly using the airport for these purposes which is a major factor in its growth. The airport is about 75 miles 121 kilometers from Philadelphia International Airport, 80 miles 130 kilometers from Newark Liberty International Airport, and 55 miles 89 kilometers from Trenton Mercer Airport. The airport is a popular diversion airport for flights going to the New York metropolitan area. The shortest schedule commercial jet service in the contiguous U.S. operates between Abe and PHL. Piedmont Airlines American Eagle regularly operates an ERJ-145 on the route which has a flight distance of 55 miles. Average time in the air is 20 minutes. Topic history Lehigh Valley International Airport opened in 1929 and is one of the very few in the United States of America that serves its community from its original location. Scheduled airline flights began on September 16, 1935, by United Airlines Boeing 247s. The airport hangar served as the passenger terminal. The first terminal building at the airport was built in 1938 as a Works Projects Administration WPA project. During World War II the U.S. Navy V-5 flight training program was conducted at the airport in conjunction with ground training held at Muhlenberg College. In addition, headquarters of Group 312 of the Civil Air Patrol was at Allentown Bethlehem Airport. One of its activities was to provide a courier service for cargo defense plants. Allentown CAP pilots also patrolled the Atlantic coastline and was active in recruiting young men for the Air Cadet Program of the Army Air Force. By January 1944 work on a new runway was completed and a Class A United States Weather Bureau station had been installed. About 1,000 naval aviation cadets had been trained during 1943, and a large increase in the amount of civilian and military air traffic had occurred. In late July, the War Production Board approved the construction of a second-story addition to the administration building. The building housed the Lehigh Aircraft Company, the Weather Bureau Station, the Civil Aeronautic Communications Station, and the office and waiting room of United Airlines. In August, the V-5 flight training program ended when the Navy decided to move all flight training to naval air bases under Navy pilots. In April 1946 the Lehigh Airport Authority was created to own and manage the airport. 
The October 1946 C and G S diagram shows four runways forming an asterisk. Runway one was 2,680 feet long, six was 4,000 feet, nine was 3,800 feet, and 14 was 3,100 feet. A new passenger terminal began construction in 1948 and was finished in 1950. Allentown Bethlehem Easton Abe Airport, as it was now called, had flights on United, Trans World Airlines since 1947, and Colonial Airlines since 1949-50. DC-4s and DC-6s appeared after runway 6 was extended to 5,000 feet. TWA left in 1967, replaced by Allegheny, Colonial's successor Eastern remained until 1991. Republic DC-9 non-stop flights to Detroit started in 1986, regional partners replaced successor Northwest around 2003, as United's non-stop flights to Chicago had likewise been replaced around 2001. Delta started non-stop flights to Atlanta in 1991 and its partner took over in 2002. In 2012, Frontier Airlines started twice a week non-stop flights to Orlando International Airport MCO. Frontier used their Airbus A319 on their flights to Orlando International Airport. In 2013, Frontier discontinued service to Orlando International Airport due to increased fuel and operating costs at Lehigh Valley International Airport. It was no longer possible to provide low fares to customers. Allegiant is currently the only airline to provide non-stop flights to the city of Orlando via the Orlando Sanford International Airport In 1960 Vice President Richard Nixon and Senator John F. Kennedy made campaign stops at Abe. Construction began on the present terminal in 1973 and the project, designed by Wallace and Watson, was completed in 1976. The most recent terminal renovations were done in two phases. Phase 1, April 2009. Cost, $7,253,235, PennDOT grant amount, $3 million, General Contractor, Lobar, Inc., Dillsburg, PA, Architect, Breslin, Ridyard, Federo Architects, Allentown, PA, Square footage of the Phase 1 project, 24,000 SQ feet, 7,000 SQ feet, of which is new space. Phase 2, November 2010. Cost, about $7,225,000, PennDOT grant amount, $3,500,000, General Contractor, E.R. Stubner Construction, Inc. Redding, PA, Architect, Breslin, Ridyard, Federo Architects, Allentown, PA, Square footage of renovated space, 33,600 sq feet. Former Carriers Southeast Airlines, November 2002 to August 12, 2012. Airtran Airways, April 2009 to August 2012. Frontier Airlines, May 26, 2012 to April 7, 2013. Topic facilities and aircraft. The airport covers 2,278 acres, 922 hectares, at an elevation of 393 feet, 120 meters. It has two asphalt runways, 6 24 7,599 by 150 feet 2,316 by 46 meters and 13 31 5,800 by 150 feet 1,768 by 46 meters. The airport has nine gates to service the passengers. The airport has six holding spots for cargo aircraft. Mainly Boeing 757 cargo aircraft fly in and out of the airport for FedEx along with Amazon Prime Air Boeing 767s. For the 12-month period ending September 30, 2017, the airport had 84,901 aircraft operations, an average of 233 per days, 78% general aviation, 11% air taxi, 10% commercial airline and Topic. Fire department Aircraft Rescue and Firefighting is a special category of firefighting that involves the response, hazard mitigation, evacuation, rescue and emergency medical response to airport emergencies. Airport firefighters have advanced equipment and training in the application of firefighting foams, dry chemical and clean agents used to extinguish aviation fuels. The Federal Aviation Administration FAA mandates ARF operations at all U.S. airports that serve scheduled passenger air carriers. 
The LNAA ARF department consists of seven full-time and three part-time personnel, operating from a 13,000 sq feet, facility commissioned in October 2003. <laughs> <laughs> Airlines and destinations Passenger Cargo Amazon.com leverages the Lehigh Valley International Airport as one of only 11 locations in the country for their Amazon Air Shipping Service. LVIA was one of the first airports selected for the pilot concept of the program due to its close proximity to large population centers, cost effectiveness, robust infrastructure, and comparative ease of use. This location now ships more merchandise, has more flights, and serves more people over 75 million from Boston to Washington, D.C. as of late 2016 for Amazon than any other facility in the country. Both Amazon and LVIA continue to invest heavily in the local area to better support the ever-increasing demand for air cargo driven in large part by the explosive growth of e-commerce and the need for faster, more efficient delivery of merchandise. Due to the same aforementioned reasons for Amazon increasing its operations at the airport, FedEx Ground has selected an area near LVIA to construct its largest terminal in the country. Abe, currently, has six cargo parking spots for cargo operations. Charter operations Kalita Charters operates service for HE. Tex Sutton Airlines horse transport on the Boeing 727, and flies in from various destinations, primarily Lexington. Other destinations include Ontario, Seattle, and Stewart. Kalita also flies cargo charters on the DC-9. Sun Country operates military charters to the airport. Sun Country also operates charters for various sports teams. Ameristar also operates cargo charters into the airport via DC-9. Air Canada Jets occasionally operates charters for the Toronto Marlies Hockey Club from Toronto, via Philadelphia. <laughs> <laughs> Bus service United Airlines also has a bus service to Newark Liberty International Airport EWR. Continental Airlines, which later merged into United, previously operated flights from Allentown to Newark but switched to a bus service in 1995 due to constant delays from air traffic control. The distance is 79 miles (127 kilometers). As of 1997 the service was 8 times daily. Today, the service is offered three times daily by February 2010 the bus was the only form of service offered by Continental after it cancelled its Allentown to Cleveland Hopkins Airport flights. Statistics Annual traffic Topic Carrier Shares Topic Top Destinations Topic Incidents and Accidents On September 19, 2008, Mesa Airlines Flight 7138, Bombardier CRJ-700, was forced to make a high-speed aborted takeoff and swerve in order to avoid a collision with a Cessna 172 that had yet to exit the runway after landing. There were no fatalities or injuries. On November 16, 2008, U.S. Airways Flight 4551, a U.S. Airways Express de Havilland-8 turboprop operated by Piedmont Airlines, took off from Lehigh Valley International Airport at 8.20 a.m. heading to Philadelphia International Airport, and then had to make an emergency landing. The flight crew indicated that the front nose gear had not come down, and the plane had to make a flyover over the runway for confirmation. Of 35 passengers and three crew, there were no injuries. 
On June 27, 2009, Allegiant Air Flight 746, a McDonnell Douglas MD-80 aircraft made an emergency landing after flames were observed coming from the aircraft's left engine. The flight was bound for Orlando Sanford International Airport. During takeoff one of the aircraft's tires had shredded and a piece was sucked into the engine, causing it to fail and momentarily catch on fire. The airliner landed safely minutes later with no injuries reported. On February 3, 2016, Allegiant Air Flight 624 from Orlando, an MD-80, blew its rear tires upon landing. All 152 people on board survived. On February 14, 2017, a small twin-engine aircraft had made a successful landing on runway 13 after the gear had failed to deploy. The pilot was the only occupant and had survived the crash. <laughs>